How many people live in the United Kingdom? In the 2011 census, the population of the UK was 63.2 million. That's up by 4.1 million from the 2001 census. In the last year, the population rose by 417,544. So is the birth rate rising? Well, it's risen a little lately, but it's gone down considerably since our mothers and grandmothers' generation. For example, in 1911, the average woman had 2.8 children. That's enough to replace her, the father, and have four-fifths of a person left over. Families tend to have whole numbers of children. That's how averages work, luckily. But women born in 1966 only had an average of 1.9 children each. That's not quite enough to replace them and the father. And in fact, if we look at cohort, people born in the same year, then ever since the cohort of 1935, the birth rate per woman has been dropping. And ever since the cohort of 1958, people have been having less than two children per woman. So not enough to replace both parents. So in that case, why is the population of the UK still rising? Is it down to that political hot potato, immigration? The Office of National Statistics measures net migration. That's the difference between people coming into the UK and people moving abroad. And in the last year, net migration added 163,000 people to the UK population. That's just under two fifths of our population increase. So where are the others coming from? Are people cloning themselves? Are we being invaded by aliens from space? Well, just as with net migration, you have to look at the number of people coming into the UK and the number of people leaving the UK. With population, we have to look at the number of people coming into the world and the number of people leaving the world forever. In the last year in the UK, the number of people born was 807,776, but the number of people who died was 553,232, leaving us with a difference of 254,544 people. Because although the birth rate is slowly creeping down, the death rate is going down much faster. Now, there are different ways of looking at death, statistically speaking. There is your average life expectancy. People born in 1911 could expect to live an average of 53 years if they were female, 49 if they were male. That's your mean life expectancy. But though that's useful for population, it doesn't tell you very much about your chances of living to any particular age. We could instead look at how old people are when they die. In 1841, the mean life expectancy at birth was 42 for women, just 40 for men. But the median age of death was 47 for women, 45 for men. This meant that half the population lived at least five years longer than the average at length of life. How does this work? Well, a lot of it is down to the horrifying levels of child mortality. Well over 10% of all the children born died in early childhood. So that pulled the average length of life down. But if you survived into adulthood without dying of some disease like typhoid or cholera or measles, then you stood a good chance of living to quite an old age. In fact, the modal age of death in 1841 was 77 for women. Modal age being the most popular age at which to die. And in 2011, the average life expectancy was 79 for men, 83 for women. Almost exactly double what it was in 1841. This is largely because of the massive triumph over infant mortality. In the last century, rates of infant mortality have gone from 130 per thousand, that's 13% of all the children born, down to four per thousand. But it's not just that. Even now we have the vaccines, the sewers, the antibiotics, life expectancy is continuing to rise. In the last five years, UK life expectancy has gone up by about a year. So in any given week, the UK life expectancy rises by over a day. In the five minutes you've spent finding and watching this video, your life expectancy has gone up by a minute. Use it well. But what does this tell us about population? Well, the bottom line is we are living around twice as long as we were in 1841. So we have effectively doubled the population simply by not dying younger. So when you look at population increase, you have to remember it's not just about how many babies are born, and it's not about people moving to the UK to enjoy our fantastic weather and our legendary cuisine. No, it's mainly about us not dying young, and that is surely something to celebrate. And if you've enjoyed this video, why don't you join our growing population of subscribers? Just press the button here, or, or here, wherever they've put it, just press the button.